this I'm going to talk about the database mirroring in this video what is database mirroring okay database mirroring is actually high high availability solution for the SQL server when one of the one of the database fails the actually the mirror database actually takes over okay the basically remember that thing that the principal server there are three things three servers involved into the database mirroring one is the principal server the other one is the mirror one and the third one is the witness on a principal and or the mirror server you can actually you are must be running a database you must be running a standard or enterprise addition of the sql server on a witness you need not run a enterprise or the standard addition you can run express addition what does the witness does it just actually looks at the if the principal has failed and it tells the mirror to take it over nothing else that is what it is that is actually it does the it is actually does the automatic failover while if you it's not necessary to have a witness you you can only have a principal and the mirror server itself but if you have only a principal on the mirror it, server itself then you have a problem that you will have to manually failover now there are three modes actually in what the mirroring can be done it's the synchronous mode and uh, asynchronous mode is synchronous mode is that actually happens in either of the case where the server is actually writing first to the mirror and then writing to the principal server okay while in a asynchronous mode the server is first written to the principal and then written to the mirror okay and then committed to the mirror then this there's a that's the big difference between them okay while the in a, a synchronous mode the server has two option one is with the witness and one is without the witness with the witness means it will fail over automatically without a witness you have to do it a manual fail over now remember that thing before you actually start database mirroring okay the database whatever you want to mirror is actually should be in the uh, full recovery mode okay let's go actually usually you can do it on the two different so you would be doing it on the two different server at least in this case because this is just a demo and i do not have a second server i am just going to do it with the two different instances on the same server okay you can do it actually if you want you can try the same thing also not a problem at all okay here it is i will just have a database known as adventure now first what you do when you are actually trying you should actually back up the database to the back up the database and the transaction log to a folder or wherever you want okay usually when you are using a uh, another server you should be actually sharing that folder wherever you are actually backing up because the other server also needs to actually know where the data is there okay in my case i am not going to do that thing in my case i just actually i'm going to save it to the one of the folder if you are doing it on the two different server then you make better make the that folder shareable okay now what i'm going to do basically is let's go to the witness i actually okay you can also register if you want you can go and register the server okay here by getting the instead of connecting every time to the different instance you can just go and register and actually you will see that the other servers would be actually available for you in the same window now what's the difference is is that now i'm connected to the 11 and it has a database known as adventure and the other database also too okay first i am going to basically i am going to expand ex, i am going to take the backup of this database and i am then i am going to restore the database to the other instance that is the ms2005 remember these are both the 2005 instances okay so this is what i am going to do i am going to first take a backup remember that thing first go and check it out whether the database is in the full recovery mode or not if it is not in the full recovery mode then you will not be able to take up transaction log backup here it is it is in the full recovery mode now i am going to take the backup first task backup first i am going to take up the backup of the uh, uh, master this is the full backup okay and then i am going to actually okay this is going to i'm going to remove it and i'm going to take the full backup to the here it is i'm going to type the database name 
एडवेंचर वर्क्स डॉट एम डी एफ एंड आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ओके एंड आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ओके एंड देन अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ओके एंड वंस आई हैव डन इट आई एम देन गोइंग टू बैकअप द ट्रांजेक्शन लॉक एंड नाउ आफ्टर दैट आई विल रिस्टोर द बैकअप एंड द ट्रांजेक्शन लॉक to the ms2005 instance okay in the your case if you have a different sql server you are running for the mirror then you restore it on the different server different whatever the instances and remember that thing to recover to restore it in the no recovery mode only what the thing do not actually try to recover the database in the recovery mode you will re restore the database as well as the transaction log in the no recovery mode in the second instance that is the mirror instance okay again task again i am going to take a backup now in this time i am going to take a transaction log backup so i go down take a transaction log here is take in the transaction log backup and click okay and once you click okay and you can click okay and the transaction log has been taken successfully now the thing is that i have to go to the instance the other instance remember in both the cases remember that the sql server agent has to be running for both of the this thing otherwise there would be a problem okay now there is no database as you can see but i am going to restore the database there is and i'm going to drop this database from the ms okay it has been there for that thing okay now there is no database so i will go and just restore the database okay it says where what database do you want i will say adventure works Okay, now I have to go and select from the device wherever I had backed it up. Okay, that was the folder wherever I backed it up. So I'll go and add it. Okay, let's go and restore the database. Okay, restore the database as MDF and, and the transaction log both with the no recovery mode only. Okay, restore database. Okay, here I'm going to type the adventure name. Restoring from the device. This is where I backed it up, so I am going to select the adventure data here, and I am going to select OK, and I am going to type the name as adventure. Dot works. Dot md, and I am going to click OK. Similarly, I am going to do the with the transaction log. Okay, here it is. Just check it out. Actually, in the video, actually, I may ha I may have given the MDF name in the extension, but remember that you, whenever you are backing, you should, you should give all the backup B A K. I just must have actually skipped that. I may may I may made a mistake, but doesn't matter. But I just renamed it, and I'm going to click OK here. Okay, and now I'm going to restore this thing because if you actually gave it a mdf name then it will not actually be able to use it as a backup it will actually create a problem give you a problem okay it will not be appear when you try to restore okay now here it is i am going to restore it without with, with no recovery okay and i am going to click okay i just go to the options okay and change the path name here okay and i'll just get, come back to you and i'll select the no recovery Okay, here it is. Adventure Works MDF. Okay, and I'm going to click OK for this place. In this case, 
and here is both no recovery and i'm going to click okay it is giving an error it is giving an error because it is actually the path name has already the database with that name that's the reason i'm going to click okay now this time and it should work and it is going to work here we are now you can see that uh, adventure works is still in the restoring mode okay now i will actually do it same thing with the transaction log you can see i have selected a transaction log then i will go to the options okay and again i have selected the no recovery and i am going to click okay and it is done now the replicant starts go to the adventure database task say sorry the mirroring starts okay now go and actually start the mirroring okay once you start the mirroring it will give you the options security options in my case i am going to actually just use the configure security and i am going to use it on the same server while you, you may be using it on a different actually server so just actually i am going to go to select exactly the process the same in my case i do not have a witness so i am just going to deselect the witness and i am going to move to the next okay this is the first server it is automatically selected that was 112 112005 Okay, and uh, listen to the port, and next it it will automatically assign a next new port to the because it knows that it's a different instance. Okay, now I'm going to select the different instance. Okay, this is M M five two thousand M S two thousand five, and click OK, and see you can see that the two two five zero two three has been assigned. It automatically does this thing. You don't have to worry. You leave the rest as it is, witness and other things as it is blank. Okay, and click OK. Okay, and you are done. now you have to just to start mirroring and click okay here is a synchronous mode i am to was talking about and this is a asynchronous mode that's it i am going to go for the synchronous mode and start the mirroring if there is a problem it will give me an error and i will have to rectify the problem if it is not then it has started and as, as you can see the the mirroring has just started okay and it was successful usually you may not always get success success there may be a sometimes there may be a problem okay now as you can see here principle syn synchronous okay synchronized and we are actually done with the mirroring database mirroring okay this will always remain in the restoring mode okay This is the basic how you do actually the do the database mirroring. Okay, I'll just stop here.